Hi, everybody, and welcome to Fitness Friday. It's Emma. So today we're going to work on strength, okay? And so in today's video, we will work on the whole body seated using a, a resistance band or a TheraBand, okay? So even if you don't have one of these, uh, you can follow along without one of these, just going through the movements. Hopefully you've warmed up a little bit. Um, so that we can um, start. So there's nothing more important than strength training. And I'm gonna try and do a short video every so often just for strengthening. So today with the TheraBand, this will enhance that, okay? All right, so the first one we're gonna do, and they're very quick, it's not a long video, maybe 10 minutes, anybody can follow along, very simple, okay? I stress simple all the time because I really want you to follow along. So I hope you enjoy the video and uh, if you have any comments or anything you want to maybe see changed or uh, if you're enjoying the videos and you're, how you're doing, uh, I would love to hear from you. You can just uh, let Hospice Vaughn know and hopefully they'll let me know as well. All right. So with that being said, let's begin. All right. Let's start with our hands on our knees to begin and take a nice deep breath. Okay. In through the nose. So filling up the stomach and then out through the mouth. We'll do that three times, okay? And again, in through the nose, and out through the mouth. And one more like that, in through the nose, and out through the mouth. Hopefully you got some oxygen there going through the body parts that are gonna move. So pick up, pick up your TheraBand and a long one would be good. Now, if you don't have one of these, you can buy them. I know they have them at Walmart and Canadian Tire. Um, so there's lots of different places that you can get them. If you see a physiotherapist, they probably have some on hand that they can sell you. Okay, you can, uh, they come in a roll, so you can buy as long as you want. Some of them come with little handles on the sides, which are amazing, they're even better. But today, mine does not have handles, so I'm just gonna be holding on to it, okay, from wherever. With TheraBands, we're working with tension and resistance, okay? So, all right, what I'd like you to do is I'd like you to place the TheraBand underneath the foot, okay? Like that, sit up nice and tall. So one foot, um, if your band is underneath one foot, the other one is anchored on the floor. The elbows are by your rib cage, okay? And from here, from your leg, you're beginning with the leg extended, you're just gonna bring that leg up to the chest and then kick it out pressing through the heel. Up, we'll go for 10 of these, and down. So I should say in and forward. This is four, and forward. Five, breathing it out. Six, keep your elbows close to your body. Seven, that was seven, this is eight. Nine, and 10. Releasing, and slowly put that foot down, and we're gonna do the other side. So place the TheraBand right underneath the center of your foot, make sure it's nice and stable, it's not slipping away from you. So your start position is with your leg extended, and at this point, you really wanna see the bottom of your foot from, if I was looking at you, I'd like to see the, the sole of your shoe, like you're seeing mine, okay? So with that being said, if you need to release some of the tension, you can just hold a little bit further back on the TheraBand, and place your um, elbows really close to your side here. Okay, so chest is nice and open. From here, bringing your knee into the chest and then kicking out through the heel. Two, in, three, four. These are leg extensions, working your legs. Five, six, seven, eight, nine and ten bend the knee release the tension on the theraband you can shake out your hands a little bit do some finger articulation because they do get a little bit um, uh, tight from holding on to the theraband shake them out okay the next one we're going to do is actually going to work our upper body even though we are going to be anchoring the theraband on our lower on with our leg okay so what I'd like you to do is I'd like you to place the TheraBand once again underneath the foot, but this time you're gonna come a little bit forward on your chair 
you're going to place your heel on the floor. I think you can see that still. And your toe is pointing up. So from here, you're going to sit up nice and tall. Okay, your leg is extended. The band is under one foot. The heel is on the floor. Bring the, bring the arms uh, in front long. So extending your arms right there and then bringing them back. This is just arm work right here, okay? And two, and forward, and three, and forward with the arms, and four. These are rows, they're called rows, they work your upper body. Six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. All right, release the tension and put it on to the other side. So place it underneath the foot in the middle somewhere where it's nice and stable. It's not gonna slip off. Now you can come forward a little bit on your chair, anchor that heel onto the floor. You can have your leg as fully extended as you can. My chair today is not really that, that good for this, but this is what I had back here. So I just thought I'd use it. So you could extend your leg straight or you could just bend your knee slightly the idea is to keep your core nice and engaged, nice and tight, all right? So your start position is your arms are extended out here in the front, and you're gonna bring those elbows, draw them right back as far as you can. Okay, feeling it through the chest there. Okay, that was one, two, three, we'll go for 10, four, and you can go slower if this is too fast, five, six, seven, tummy's tight, eight, nine, and ten, and done. So this side is done. Let's release and shake out the hands, maybe rub the hands together, make fists and open, make fists and open, make fists and open, and again, shake it out. Okay, so the next one is for your arms. It's a bicep curl, okay? So what you're going to do is you're going to place the TheraBand underneath the foot again. And this time, what you're going to do is make sure you have an even amount of uh, TheraBand that you're going to be using. The other one, you just release it down, okay? So make a handle, whatever. The more the tension, the better. If you can come up and sit up at the top of your chair for this one, okay, we're going to... What we're going to do is we're going to extend. So make sure that foot is really holding on to that TheraBand at the bottom. And then from here, you're going to bring up that, that um, hand with the TheraBand up to the shoulder and back. So these are called curls. Up and down. See, and I need more tension, so I just grab a little bit more. Three. Extend the arm. Four. Five. Six seven, eight, nine, last one, and ten. And your leg is also working because you're really bearing down to try and keep that TheraBand uh, stable underneath your foot. We're going to go ahead and do the other side. All right. So again, be evening out the TheraBand. Make sure you have an even amount. So just to make sure that you have tension here, you don't want it to be flopping like this because that wouldn't be doing anything, okay? You really need it to nice and tight, nice and taut. So, all right, so your stir position is down below like this, okay, with your arm extended, and then you're gonna bring that arm up to the shoulder. Remember to bear down with your foot. Two, and down. Three, four, breathing it out. Five, stay nice and tall. Shoulders are relaxed. Seven, eight, nine, and ten. And rest. All right. You can always do a little stretch there for your biceps. So you can put your arms out like a letter T. And then from here, just bring your arms, hands to your shoulders, and then back out. And here, and back out. Shoulders and out, four and out, five and out. One more like this, six and out and rest. Shake it all out.
next one is going to be um, a chest press, okay? So for this one, we're going to put our TheraBands behind our backs, okay? You can put it behind your back. If your chair is small enough, you can even put it behind your chair, okay? And then from here, you're going to almost lie down in your chair. It's a chest press. So you can um, bring your TheraBand and put some tension in your TheraBand as much as, as possible. And sitting back, okay, so you're going to bring your arms in front, okay? And then from here, you're going to squeeze the shoulder blades back, okay? Bring it front and squeeze it back. This works your upper back and your chest, squeezing those elbows back, squeezing the shoulder blades back by bringing the elbows back, so back. Bringing it forward, straight arms in front, and then bring it back. Straight arms in front and back. I think this is number five and back we'll go for 10 and back seven back eight keep breathing nine last one and ten and back and rest release the theraband i hope you have one that has little handles because these can get a little bit tight around the hands there are ways you can get around that you can get some little uh, workout gloves those really help as well whenever you're working with any um, equipment um, exercise equipment all right so the next one we're going to be working our chest our shoulders and our arms so a lot of upper body movement here okay sitting up nice and tall you're going to take your theraband and again i would like to have you to have some tension so i don't really want to see this if possible I don't want to see it a floppy like that. I'd like to see it nice and tight, okay? And from here, we're going to have our arms fully extended, okay, like that. Everybody got that? All right, with tightness already there. And then we're just going to open up those arms as wide as we can. Now, of course, if I was to go here, I could open much wider, but I wouldn't really have much tension. So I would prefer that you have tension in your TheraBand, okay? So nice and tight here, open and bring it together, two, and together, three, four is tight, so it works the core, four, five, this is one of my favorites actually, six, you can really uh, make it as tight as, you, as tight as you want, eight, nine, and even coming back, you have a little tension, okay? And last one, and rest. Boy, I'm feeling that in my arms, my shoulders, my chest. I like it. It feels great. Shake out. You can do some couple of shoulder rolls here just to keep those areas nicely lubricated. Okay, so the next one is a front raise. So again, this one is for the shoulders, okay? There's so many different muscles in our shoulders, so we need to work all of them to keep those shoulders healthy. All right. We're going to put the TheraBand down, okay? All right, and for this one, you could, you need a little bit of, um, you need a little bit of length in this part of the TheraBand, so it doesn't exactly have to be equal with the, with the, with the part that's on the floor, okay? But you need tension, like any other exercise with a TheraBand, we need tension, so that means this is tight, okay? So for this one, the frontal raise, the, the, the TheraBand's under one foot, okay? Uh, we're gonna, our arm is straight, this is your starting position, and then bring it back down, okay? Up and down, okay? That's all we're doing, lifting up to a shoulder height, no higher, and down. This is four, we'll go for 10, and down, five, six. Make sure you have tension coming up and tension going down, eight, nine last one and ten and switch it over to the other side nice and easily all right here we go i took an extra long theraband today so we can use it this way there are you can make shorter ones for you know just when you're doing that one for here for example you don't need a lot of length but the ones where we're engaging the legs as well it's good to have a little bit longer I recommend probably as, long, as wide as your arm span. So as, long, as wide as your arms are, when you open up your arms like a letter T from one hand 
to the other side. That's how long your their bands should be, your Thera resistant bands, okay? All right, so here is that frontal raise. So starting position, ooh, shoulder height, okay? Don't let, don't let the TheraBand pull you down, okay? You wanna resist coming down and resist coming up. Down and two, down three, keep your arms straight, down, four, shoulder height only, five, no higher, six, seven, eight, nine, one more, and ten. If you feel overly ambitious, you can do both sides at the same time. You would just place a TheraBand under one foot or both feet for that matter. I will just show you what that would look like. So you could put it under both feet. You don't have to do this. This is just to show you a variation if you're finding that it's not challenging enough, okay? So you can do both at the same time, up and down. You can face the palms down or face the palms up. It doesn't really matter, okay? Up to shoulder height and down, okay? We'll do two more, up and down and up and down. This is just a variation on the same theme, just to show you how to intensify it just a little bit more, okay? Shake out your hands. And now we're actually pretty much done. I just wanna engage the uh, lower legs as well because we didn't really do that with the TheraBand. And for this one, you don't really need a TheraBand, okay? So uh, you can just do it if you want. You can add some weights. You can just place the two weights like you did on one of my other videos right here on your knees. Or you can just hold down, hold your knees with your hands, just to, uh, add a little bit of um, resistance there. And you're going to bring your heels up and down, okay? That's all you're doing, up with the heels and down. Remember the core is nice and tight, so tummy's tight and down. This is number four, we'll go for 10 and down. Five and down, six, down, seven, down, eight, down, nine, One, two, three, four, five, and release. And just shake out your legs by doing little kicks right here. Kick them out. Breathe it out. Let's do some ankle rotation. Extend one, one leg out and rotate counterclockwise. Eight, nine, ten. And just take a little breath there. Bring it back up and go the other way. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And rest. Other one comes up and rotate clockwise. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Take a little rest. Breathe. Bring it back up and go the other way. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and rest. And you are done for today. Hope you enjoyed that. Um, we will continue on every other Friday to give you one of these exercise videos. I hope you are following along. I try and make them as simple as I can. If there's anything you'd like to see changed, uh, please let me know. I'd love to hear from you. I'm not hearing from too many people. So hey, I'd like to hear your comments, how you're doing, how you're making out with all of this, all right? Hopefully we all see each other in person soon. Take care for now and have a happy Friday and a happy weekend. Namaste.